What's up everybody? Welcome to Campaign Killer, a show here on the Pause Games YouTube channel where we tackle all kinds of awesome video game story modes and for every single game that we complete here on the show, $100 is donated to Cystic Fibrosis Research. So without any further ado, let's dive into the game. What's up everybody, John from Pause Games here, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Give me one second here as I boot this up. As you can see, no signal on the screen right now. Generally means that we're going back in time. Let me, uh, I know this audio is going to be loud. So let me drop this down here and let's start talking about, uh... So we're talking about the game that we're replaying. So, as you can see, I can read it right there. We're diving back into an old classic. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can call it a classic. I don't. I remember playing this game, but I don't remember how it was. Uh, let me pop up. There we go. I think we should be good to go here. Or, or an old classic movie tie-in game, I'll say. As you can see, Seven Studios. Today we're playing some uh, Fantastic Four from the GameCube. This was the movie tie-in uh, game. Let me think. When was the? Was it 2005? 2005. The original, um, the Fantastic Four movie came out. And we're not talking about the new crappy remake. And a lot of people thought this game, this movie was crappy too. Um, I loved it. I, I was such a huge fan of the Fantastic Four movie. Alright, so we got new, we got load, we got arena fight, bonus content, and options. Okay, so we're going to do a new... Okay. We're going to do easy difficulty single i forgot there is a co-op mode is he dead you do why how we're diving right into it ooh doctor doom is alive So I kind of forget. This ends now. I kind of forget how this game, we need, we need your help on the roof. how this game ties into the movie. Okay, but can we can we take just a second here? I know this is like a cutscene, but we can we take just a second here to acknowledge how really good these characters look, like comparing to their real life actors for a GameCube game. Then she walked in. Okay, her face not quite as. I mean, it's still not bad, but it's it's not quite as. Spot on to the actor. Alright, so this is what happens in the movie. Johnny Storm, astronaut. Lucky 
Ben Grimm. I don't know. I have no idea how this game is going to hold up. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it looks surprisingly decent. I mean, it's like low res, obviously, like standard definition. Definitely looks like it's running at about 480p. But I don't hate the animations. Audio quality is Garbo. <laughs> Still about five minutes in, we haven't hit playable uh, gameplay yet. Oh, here we go. Press A to continue. Spin wheel and close the shields. Move on to the glowing four spots and press uh, X. It's actually hard to read what button it is, but luckily it's shaped. Uh, X for special interactions. <laughs> Each hero has a different color four spot. Ben's four spots are yellow. Thanks. This is a tip. Pause to see recent tips. Alright, so... Thanks, dude. I'm going to go over here and get this Fantastic Four coin. Oh lordy, not going back now. I'm working on it. I placed, got two of them. Is there a button I can press to like rush it? Like to fly faster? Damn, it broke loose. I better grab it before it floats away. Ow. And then we just plug it in here. Okay. God, that sound effect is freaking annoying, dude. The cutscene animations are pretty... are actually pretty good. In-game... Meh. I know this game also released on all of the then-modern consoles, so I'm curious if it would look better on, like, a PlayStation 2 or an original Xbox. Cosmic Storm completed. What a mission. What a mission. What, a, what an opening scene that is. Alright. <laughs> yes. Checking for memory card in slot A. Let me tell you how just refreshing it was, though, to just pop this game in and just start playing. Uh... Yes? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we live in an era now where it's like you have to install, you know, a terabyte of game data before ever, you know, pressing a button and playing a level. But... Yeah, it was just like, it, it's it's still refreshing. I mean, even if it's like an old game. Oh my lord, what is this? I remember being in this room and struggling to get out of here. But that was when I was a kid, so I was stupid and, you know, bad at life. Uh, <laughs> but like I was saying, it, it was just refreshing to pop a game in. Just pop a game disc in, hit the power button, and get right into the game. Like, that's so ridiculously fun and I, I miss that era of gaming quite a bit but I mean the new era of gaming is obviously far superior when it comes to you know quality and maybe not quality but you know 
graphics, that kind of thing, mechanics. Anyway. I actually just didn't press anything for a long enough time, and it just... Ah. I'm just... That was so easy. I just sat there and talked at the camera long enough, and the game was just kind of like... Oops. The game just kind of did it for me. Security bots were definitely not part of the movie, though. I mean, I get that they just had to give us enemies to fight, but... Oh, I just got my... ...ass kicked, just about. Oh, yeah! Mr. Fantastic, baby! <laughs> Boom. Alright, so now we're in to we'll beat him up. Okay, we're going over here, actually. Okay. So in theory, there is a time limit, but those are so easy. Good morning, Victor. I will escort you to safety. Looks like I made a new friend. Cool. <laughs> this is likely just the beginning, though, of a long string of, um... Of superhero... Oops. A long string of superhero games that I'm going to be playing here on the channel. I also have Catwoman. I recently acquired Catwoman on GameCube. Uh, that I'll be trying out. Oh, Z... Z and A. Oh! Learning all kinds of button maneuvers now. I also, uh... Just picked up Gotham Knights. Right? Yep. Gotham Knights. Obviously not on GameCube, on Xbox Series X. So that's something that'll be played here on the channel in the future. But it's been a while since I played, like, a real throwback game here on the channel. Where's my guy? Because I'm getting my butt kicked right now. This is not my robot, I'm assuming. My robot might be dead, quite frankly. Are you getting up? Are you kidding? There we go. Okay. Yeah, no, that's right. There we go. I need to find her right away. Oh my god, so much hacking, dude. Okay, actually, let's go... Start there. And then go down a row, question mark. Okay. Crap. Can I just restart? I'm confusing myself at this point. Failure. She must be close by. I'll unlock the door. You... Why is it so stupidly difficult all of a sudden? Am I an idiot?
Oh my god! I'm just getting wrecked right now. Alright, so this has to be it then, right? I've just been trying the same thing, yeah, a million times. I'm just an idiot. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Reed's escape completed. It didn't even really specify why I was escaping, or where I was escaping to. Overwriting data. These levels are extremely short. Wait, is that Sue? Alright, so human torch level now? No, okay. I was gonna say, I saw her running by. throwing fireballs. Come on, nurse. What is this blue thing? Can I get it? Wait, why is that bot just kind of... Arena challenge unlocked. Jeez. I'm getting absolutely shit mixed right now. Are those not for me to collect? I guess not. Okay. Ah, I can light things randomly on fire for no good reason. The hit detection kind of feels kind of clunky and not great. Is that where I just came in? No. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Oh! <laughs> How dare you abuse that poor person. That poor, low-res, unidentifiable person. Johnny, look, out. <laughs> look out, Johnny! I don't know how I just did that. You're on fire! Yeah. Lol. Easy. Keep on coming, I don't care. Boom. That all of them? That was easy. Locked in. I need to spot weld my way out. Oh, it's a press and hold. I was like button mashing it. Alright, so now I built that wall of fire over there. That should do the trick for all remaining. And eh, not all remaining, I guess. That's it. 
I dig that. Yo, everybody's looking for Sue. Apparently, Sue just has all the answers. Human Torch completed. Save your progress? Yes. Checking for memory card in slot A. So there were drawbacks to the uh, the good old days as well. Um, such as constantly overwriting data and having to actually manually save your your progress after every single mission. Obvi an obvious drawback of the good old days. Now we got that good old... Well, not good old, that, that newfangled autosave. Alright, so is she going to be like stealth-based missions? Or am I going to do be using like... Am I going to be beating people, beating people down with like her and her force fields or something? But also, can we talk about her massive badonka donk? We're going to talk about that like unnecessarily large badonka donk. Also, where are we? Is it tundra out there? Anyway, security bots. I should probably avoid being seen. All right. So Z lets Sue go invisible to sneak by enemies and cameras. When behind them... Okay, Z plus A is a stealth kill. Oh, crap. Let's see what I can do with these new things. Should I go save that lady over there or just screw her? Alright, weird. Boom! Yo, she's OP. Hey, nurse. Um. Should we. Should I save you? Am I... No? Oh, crap. I'm, um... I don't know what I was just doing, but... Whatever it was, it wasn't working. So the blue is my, like, energy, my attack energy, and it's, re it's coming back up. Uh, the green is my health, I assume. <laughs> so I think we're going this way now? Oop. All alarms evaded. Heck yeah, bruh. Boom. Yeah, Sue Storm, kind of OP. Now I know why everybody was looking for her. Sue, I've been trying to find you. Are you alright? I'm fine, except I'm turning invisible. What's happening to me? The cosmic storm must have changed our DNA somehow. Now Victor's security system doesn't recognize us. Are you turning invisible too? Something like that. Not exactly. You'll see. You'll see. When I reach around you and <laughs> pinch that big old badonka donk from across the room. <laughs> Alright, so now I can shift between people, right? No? Is that... Haha, -ha, yeah. Let's talk about how actually OP uh, Sue Storm actually is when you think about it. Like, really think about it. <laughs> Her power is invisibility. Outside of that, she's just a normal human being, right? I mean, she could do force fields too. So I guess that maybe that discon discounts what I was about to say. But, oh my god, what was that? What was that and how do I get me some of that action? What I was going to say was... Oh my god, dude. What I was going to say was... Uh, Samsung. It's sponsored by Samsung. Um, if, if you, um, uh, sorry, I'm just tied up by the fact that the, the screen is so blurry and pixelated, you can't read anything, 
but they went as far as to make the Samsung, you know, labeling just bold. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say was, um, I'm just walking slow motion. Look at this animation. Oh yeah. That's a man with a plan right there. <laughs> oh God. Another one of these. Easy. Okay. Good. Yeah. So Sue Storm is, uh, shield read. Oh, cool. She's just, like, naturally OP. Can I... Let me just finish this... Complete this thought real quick. Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, she's just, like, naturally OP. She could just... She just punches these things. Like, Mr. Fantastic whipping his arms around or whatever. Human Torch throwing fireballs and beating people with fire. Sue Storm is just punching people. Just basic punching people and still getting the job done the same exact way outside of being invisible. But then obviously we just saw uh, you have she has her force fields, but then she also has whatever that freaking hyper beam she just shot. Uh, I never learned how to do that while I was playing as her. So I guess I'll have to uh, investigate and explore that capability a little bit later here. But uh, <laughs> but there's another another mission complete. And now we're on to the final member of the Fantastic Four, Ben Grimm, a.k.a. The Thing. My personal favorite. This better be a hell of a bad dream. DNA not recognized. Look how big this dude is. Are you talking to me? Better not be talking to me. It's clobbering time. Okay, I don't know what just... I just want to do the, the thing that it told me to do. Oh, okay. That was that it. Dude, leave me alone. You, you tin can. Boom. So I thought. Oh, while holding pipes? Ben can attack enemies while grappling. While grappling, press A. Ooh, banana slammer. Oh, I got... banana slamming these people <laughs> I missed like half of the uh, the instructions about I mean it's giving you it's not pausing the game it's giving you like tips on how to play and like different controls while you're actively fighting and trying to stay alive <laughs> oh I guess they just found human torch <clears throat> you think you've grown Ben Look at the invisible woman's badonka donk. That's what's grown. Hang on. All right, so now we're button mashing. Ben, is that really you? Oh my lord! What? I won't hurt you, Susan. Yo, I don't know what they're fighting over there. But whatever they're fighting, I feel like... Can wait, compared to Ultra Bot over here.
There we go. Oh, we got a finishing move. <laughs> Ooh. The thing's got finishers, baby. Victor, are you all right? Just a scratch. I'm fine. Reed, I want some answers. The storm. Okay, what I was saying earlier, I take it back. This looks it does not look like Reed Richards anymore. He's going home to get shot down by his wife. His terrible, terrible wife. If you're familiar with the movie. It's like the weirdest part of the entire movie is Ben's wife to re like her reaction to him becoming the thing is really weird. <laughs> 